This is Paula Taylor. She's being evicted from her home. You see the protesters out in front. Paula has a condo here. Looks like she's getting a pet out of here. Paula, what, what's happening here? Uh, it's an eviction. Why? By the bank. They foreclosed on the property. Um, they refused to negotiate uh, with me in any way, uh, such as to pay rent, to buy it back at property value, and even they found uh, someone else has come forward and said they would purchase the property, um, but they're not hearing anything. What happens if you do get evicted? To go someplace else and live. Do you know where? Uh, not at the moment. To help Paula, you can see these people who are fighting evictions all over the city have literally chained themselves to the house. You folks are, are willing to be arrested? Yes, we are. From the back of the house to the front of the house here, where there are several dozen protesters here, people have chained themselves to the front of the house as well. These people all protesting this eviction. Here is City Councilor Chuck Why Turner. Why abandoned housing? It's insane as a policy. But they are insane. Their greed has driven them crazy. Their greed has driven them crazy so they can't even see reality. Police are coming into the back of the house now. It looks like some people are going to be arrested. Those people who have chained themselves up there. And we have members of the Special Operations Unit going to go in with the chain cutters. Cut these chains and these people will be arrested. There's the first person arrested. She had been chained to the court. There are the other people. After police broke the chains, now they're making the rest. Now that the people have been unchained and arrested, movers have access to the condo. They're going to move out. They're going to move Paula out. She's being evicted. We're going to keep up some chance for a little bit longer, and then we're going to send people down to Grove Hall. But this is a tough, tough thing for Paula. Applause. Let's give her a round of applause. She has taken a stand here. When the people sat in at the lunch counters and got arrested, that was not a loss. That was the beginning of the struggle that ultimately won. And this is the beginning of a struggle that will ultimately win too. After the eviction, Countrywide issued a statement saying they foreclosed on Paula's condo 10 months ago and that she turned down offers of assistance to relocate and that they had to force her out, evict her, so that they could sell the place. So this eviction it's over, but it looks like the protest is just beginning. From Roxbury, Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.